Hey, what's going on guys? Jet XC. Hope you guys have been enjoying the game. So, I've got some early, early news. You guys always know I report early when it comes to snow break info. So, I'm going to bring up this Twitter here. Right? So, here we go. This is for Cyrus. So, official Chinese site introduces the performance of Cyrus. The ultimate technique, it says it stops time. So, I went ahead and did some translations. Let's take a look, guys, and look into it. So this isn't going to be 100% accurate, but let's let's do it. So Cyrus charges a force field with her normal moves. And when it reaches maximum charge, she destroys the force field and attacks the enemy, gaining and recovering explosive energy. So Katamana recovering explosive energy. So I'm assuming she shoots, and as she shoots this force field explodes and it does damage while also recovering energy i don't know if it's separate energy for a kit or maybe energy for our ultimate but we'll know we'll see you can inflict high damage using special moves at the right time by activating a specific nerve you can shorten the interval between special attacks with all damage other than special attacks interesting Whenever the Catacon value effectively increases or decreases and reaches a certain number of tiers, Cyrus will gain one tier resurrection, resurrection. Uh, Cyrus attack power increases and the rate increases for a hundred increase in attunement value. The resurrection effect accumulates to maximum value and la one layer is naturally consumed on every certain period of time. Interesting. So, hmm. Let me think here. So, there's this value where she effectively increases or decreases or reaches a certain number of tiers. And she also has a move where she inflicts damage using a force field that breaks. Um, okay, this one says normal skill. So, I'm, I'm assuming the, the first two are like passives. But I, we just don't, I don't have enough details, of, uh, unfortunately. So... Hang on. <laughs> I've got Enya in the background there. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, so normal skills. Cyrus, Setsuna charges forward by deploying a force field. Okay, this is the one we actually saw. So I I'm assuming this is like explaining more of her passive. These first two right here. So she charges forward by deploying a force field and reducing damage from the front while charging and at the same time continues to gain this kataman value if you have enough normal energy consume normal energy every second to obtain the following effect so if she has enough of this value from her passive she can do the following obtain additional effects that reduces damage you can gain catacon points every second to accelerate and upgrade your force field and each time you charge hits a target gain additional points there's a certain limit to the value once the force field is upgraded, you can activate it again to destroy the force field and deal high heat damage to the front. Okay, so essentially you do normal you do normal damage and you also gain damage by hitting certain targets with the shield. And it seems like um, every second to accelerate and upgrade your force field each time you, ch you charge as a target. Yeah, so a ba basically if you're doing damage, you'll get these value points that will help gain power for the force field you break it and you do this high heat damage now her support skill which is her qte uh setsuna hits the ground knocking back nearby targets and the same time deals high heat type damage and knocks all enemies back so that'll be her uh qte effect now her ultimate which we've seen in the trailer a little bit but let's see cyrus pauses time to fill up with energy spends a certain amount of katama marks the target and begins charging if there are multiple marks on the same target the charge will be reduced cyrus deals high heat damage to the marked target according to the final charge amount and at at the same time deals high heat damage uh deals high heat damage to targets within the forward range according to a certain percentage of the charge amount the final damage of the special move will increase for each value so, okay so it seems like her kit is gonna rely on this um marking that she has and the more marks you get the more it will affect your first skill with the shield and your ultimate skill as well so it seems like she's probably gonna be really good for bosses that's what i'm getting at 
I don't know if you can have multiple marks on multiple targets, but you can have multiple marks on the same target. So, yeah, we'll have to see more, guys. But, yeah, that's all we've got for Cyrus for now. Um, any other information, I will let you guys know. So, yes, just do keep that in mind. Um, hang on. Here's a better translation. Let me just peek this real quick, guys. Sorry. Uh... Okay, so it's called Willpower. So Cyrus charges her field with regular attacks. When fully charged, she shatters it to attack enemies, gaining willpower and recovering burst energy. Using her ultimate at the right time deals massive damage. Okay, I see. So her Divine Sync, every time willpower effectively increases or decreases a certain amount, Cyrus gains one layer of resurrection. Uh, when you gain resurrection, attack power increases and the proportion rises with every 100 sync counts the resurrection effect stacks to a maximum naturally consuming one layer every time okay so her thing is willpower and she gets increased damage um based on the amount of stacks she's got okay so cool so everybody you can take a look at this i kind of summed it up but this is slightly better translation so it's called willpower but yeah guys um let me know what you think i'm definitely going to be getting her for sure based off design alone again i think she'll be great for bosses we'll have to see in like a mob i think for a mob too she'll be good but she's a shotgun user so nothing wrong with that that's always good in this game uh let me know what your thoughts are guys i will talk to you later